The Nigerian government at all levels, security agencies have been charged to adopt a multifaceted and public participatory approach to tackle the lingering security challenge confronting the northwest region and Nigeria at large. They gave the advice at a one-day high-level town hall meeting with key relevant stakeholders in Kaduna, organized by Kuka Center and Global Rights, aimed at promoting peace, stability and security in northwestern Nigeria. Details on this report. To seek lasting solution, conflict and violence, Kuka Center say exclusion of women in peace building dialogue has a negative impact, hence to engage them. Much more importantly, how do we find solution to issues of conflict and violence and what role can women play? Because from the baseline study that will be presented today, evidence suggests that women who are mostly affected are also excluded and marginalized from identifying, outlining the solutions, the problems that we have. The Northwest is one of the fastest growing in terms of population, but also poverty index, you know, index of lack of employment, marginalization, you know, access to health care, to education. All these things are the issue. They say the use of kinetic approaches filled stressing the need for a multi-dynamic and community people's-centered approach for the safety of the lives and properties of citizens. To have peace and security in our society and especially in the northwest uh, Nigeria, it is important for us to understand that the nature and enormity of our challenges is such that we require multi-faceted multi-dimensional uh, approach and so the dynamic approach i think beyond any reasonable doubt has proven to us that is not enough and so we need to come up with other approaches and i mean the soft approach it is very very important for us to note that unless we are able to drive out the criminally driven conflict within us Will we be able to achieve enormous success in the other areas of conflict driven uh, issues? It is my hope that in the process of this discussion we will be able to find more uh, answers and solutions to most of the problems that are bedeviling uh, uh, our society and in the end be able to drive peace where it's supposed to be driven. Also, Kaduna State Governor Uba Sani, represented by Administrator of Kaduna Central Territorial Authority, Samuel Aruan, restated the government's commitment to public safety, adding insecurity is a threat to food security and health care systems in the region. I want to assure you that the government of Kaduna State and other states are conscious of what we are witnessing and we are doing our best. The government will continue with other policies and actions that are aimed at mitigating most of these challenges. To address one of the most critical aspects of our society, the safety and well-being of our people, I ask you every day and night to protect our communities from threats, from personal aggression or internal policies. Peace stakeholders insist that civil participation and inclusion of women in community resilience against insecurity and violence as panacea to lasting solution. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.